Welcome once again to Ramadan series. A lot of people might ask themselves the question, why is Laylatul Qadr hidden? Imagine if someone were to know that tonight is Laylatul Qadr and that you would turn your back to 84 years approximately of worship, knowing that Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. Like if someone were not to use that night, knowing that it is that night, then maybe the doors of mercy might have been closed for him. But now imagine you knowing that it is Laylatul Qadr, a night where you can perform so many actions which are better than a thousand months, but you would instead of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be sinning. Then your sin would even be considered to be worse you knowing that it is Laylatul Qadr. These are some of the reasons which were given by Imam al-Razi when it comes down to Laylatul Qadr not really being known when it takes place. Wa sallillahu wa sallim wa barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Fatihi ma ughliq والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم
Today is the 26th um, iftar hour, inshallah, we'll start with the Quran, and I'll be reading from Surah Baqarah today, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun ayyaman ma'adudat فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ 
وعلى الذين يطيقونه فزية طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وأن تصوموا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله ولتكبروا الله على ما ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداع إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء محمد المصطفى وعلى آله المجتبى أما بعد أجزاق لغير برده Hisham for the beautiful recitation of the glorious Quran. Um, we're, we're heading into an incredible uh, night, the 27th of Ramadan, uh, which according to many is the night of Laylatul Qadr, uh, the night of power. Uh, and we have, uh, inshallah, today we have a special guest joining us on today's iftar hour, uh, which we will introduce in a short while, inshallah. Um, but today, the, to, the, the night that we are heading into, the, the 27th of Ramadan and possibly Laylatul Qadr, uh, it's a night regarding which Imam uh, Ibn al-Mundir says, uh, uh, regarding the worship on the night of Laylatul Qadr, Imam Ibn al-Mundir says that, إِنَّهُ يُرْجَى بِهِ مَغْفِرَةُ الذنوب. Uh, perhaps the sins of the people are forgiven on this night, the night of Laylatul Qadr. And there's, an, there's, a, uh, there's a debate between the scholars. Uh, does this include the kabair, the major sins of the people? Are the major sins of the people forgiven on the night of Laylatul Qadr? Uh, if, if they were to spend the night in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, are the major sins of people forgiven? And Ibn al-Mundir says, kabair, kabairiha wa sagairiha, that the, the major and the minor sins of, of, a, of people are forgiven on this night. Uh, through their worship on the night of Laylatul Qadr, and 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 so, whereas majority of the scholars say that uh, it's not the mere uh, worship that will remove and and will expiate the major sins of people, but rather it has to be through a sincere tawba. And so, this is a night in which we increase in istighfar, uh, and and tawba and istighfar is is so powerful that it is as if you've never committed a sin. It's as if you've never done that sin before. Um, and so it's a night in which we akthirud istighfar. We will increase in, 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 in our istighfar and, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our sins and, and, and to uh, accept our actions from us. Um, and so before we, we head towards, the, uh, towards our uh, guest, we, we, we inshallah are going to... We, we're actually joined by Musa today. Uh, Musa. Musa, we're joined by Musa today. Yes, we are. We're joined by Musa Ahmed today. Uh, a special appearance to sing the praises of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Musa is coming on the request of many people. Many people have requested. And I think, you know, I think the title of uh, the head Munshid was handi- handed to the wrong person. It shouldn't have been handed to Hisham. It should have been handed to Musa. Um, and so, Zakla Musa for joining us today. Uh, and, and so, I'll, 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 I'll hand it over to you, Musa. Go ahead. Bismillah. فلک نظاروں زمین کے بہاروں سبھی دے منا ہو حضور آگے ہے 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 انوکانی رالا وزی شان آیا 
सारे रसूलों का सुल्तान आया अरे कज गुलाहो अरे बादशाह हो निगाही चुकारो हजूर आगे है 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 He is all perfection, all goodness and beauty. To love him more than our lives is a duty. He came as Al Qasim. He gives of God's bounty. Halima, in truth, we all drink of His mercy. No matter if some doubt. Celebrate his birthday. He began before this, when Adam was still clay. Arrived as a prophet. Arrived as a prophet. Arrived as a prophet. Welcome, O oh beloved. On the day of judgment, men arise and assemble. The fire does crackle, the bodies do tremble. If you suffer and sweat, or wretched and thirsty, come drink with the prophet. His gother is plenty. Arrived as a prophet, arrived as a prophet, arrived as a prophet. Welcome, O oh beloved. Salatullah, salamullah, ala Taha Rasulillah. Salatullah, salamullah. على ياسين حبيب الله we seek a way with Bismillah and with the guide Rasulillah and all who strive in the way of Allah the people of Badr ya Allah توسلنا ببسمillah وبالهادي رسول الله وكل مجاهد لله بأهل البدر يا الله Oh my Lord keep your people free from hardship and adversity from fear and sorrow and anxiety through the love of the people of Badr يا الله إلهي سلم الأمة من الآفات والنقمة ومن هم ومن غمة بأهل البدر يا الله وصل على النبي البر بلا عاد ولا حسر وآل سادة غر بأهل البدر يا الله صلاة الله سلام الله على طه رسول الله صلاة الله سلام الله على ياسين حبيب الله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله صلى الله عليه Um, Zagla Khair Musa uh, for the beautiful um, praises of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Zagla for joining uh, with us today. Um, tonight, the, 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 the 27th of Ramadan, the night of Laylatul Qadr, um, one of them is the Istiqam.
If there's any requests, just put them um, through on the live stream, inshallah, and I'll try reading them whilst we wait for our guests. Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Al-Madad, Al-Madad, oh ya Rasulallah Wistina bil-Madad, ya Habib Allah Allahumma Salli ala la Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Allahumma Salli ala la Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Nahnu fi rawdat al-Rasul Yahudur Wa talibin al-Ridha wa husna qabul Allahumma Salli ala la Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Allahumma salli ala al-Mustafa Habibana Muhammad alayhi salam Ramadhan utajalla Wabtasama tuba lil'abdi Iza ghtanama Ramadhan utajalla وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا اغتنم أرضى مولاه بما التزم طوبى للنفس بتقواها رمضان زمان الحسنات رمضان زمان البركات رمضان مجال الصلوات طوبى للنفس بتقواها رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا اغتنم رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا اغتنم أرضى مولاه بما التزم طوبى للنفس بتقواها وصلى الله على طاها وخير الخلق وأهلاها وأبي بكر بخلافته قد زان الأمة ورعاها رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا اغتنم رمضان تجلى وابتسم 
طبا للعبد إذا اغتن ما أرضى مولاه بما التزم طبا للنفس بتقواها اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله صلى الله عليه Jazak uh, lahir, uh, Hisham. Uh, sorry, uh, once again, guys. I'm gonna try this again. I've I've, I've had a lot of internet issues in the past few days. Um, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, good. Sub, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes. Alhamdulillah, I can hear you. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, joining us today um, is is one of my. It's a. Zakhlah head. Um, so uh, joining us today is is one of my teachers uh, and my mentor, um, Ustad of School Saib, um, who graduated from Jamia Al Karam uh, before completing an equivalent MA um, from in, in Arabic and Islamic uh, theology in Pakistan. Uh, then Afsab then went on to study in in the prestige Al Azhar University in Cairo and the Faculty of Islamic Sciences. Uh, he also holds a BA Honours in Accounts and IT from Stafford University. Uh, and he's been a lecturer at uh, Jamia Al Karam for the past uh, 19 or odd years. Uh, and I remember Afsab mentioning once that when he started, uh, he, he only intended to teach for one year. And, and now it's, it's nearly coming up to, to two decades and, and he's still there serving uh, as a teacher, as a senior teacher in, in Jamia Al Karam. Um, so again, Zakla uh, for joining us on our iftar hour uh, from the platform of uh, Karima, uh, and it's a real honor to have you uh, share your knowledge and, and wisdom with us, Sasab. Zakla, it's a pleasure and an honor to be part of this. Uh, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to uh, speak to everybody. Uh, so. We will start Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen. Amma ba'du fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Shahru Ramadan al-Ladhi umtila fihi al-Qur'an hudan lil-Nasi wa bayyinatin min al-Huda wal-Furqan. Sadaq Allahu al-Azim. Inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusallun ala al-Nabi. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد مبارك وسلم عليه. Um, I uh, first of all I I want to welcome uh, everybody who's here, everybody who's listening, my brothers, my sisters, my بزرق. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Um. I want to wish uh, I uh, want to wish you a beautiful Ramadan, and I I hope that uh, the Ramadan has been as beautiful for you as it has been for us. Uh, the lockdown has brought us many challenges, but it has brought us brought us a great deal of virtue and barakah. Uh, within our households, uh, we have been praying together. We have been making du'as. We have been sincerely begging Allah Almighty to lift this uh, virus from us. And sometimes it brings a challenge uh, in our lives to draw us closer to Allah Almighty. Uh, in uh, just very briefly, I, I want to say a couple of words. I just want uh, a moment of reflection is sometimes better than a thousand nights of worship. So, just a moment of reflection in Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan has really been an exercise in every possible way of self-control. Now, if you think about this, um, the exercise of self-control is something that we need to maintain within our lives. Otherwise, we would find that we are destroyed. Uh, we exercise self-control, control of our sexual desires. And so it's a self-control over your desire. We exercise uh, a self-control over something that can be a desire, but equally something that can be a need or a basic necessity. Food, uh, we avoid food for the sake of Allah Almighty. This is an exercise of self-control where some of the foods we have, we have them because they are a need. Um, they are a, a sustenance, they are a provision. 
they are our nutrition we need that in order to be able to survive but equally food is is also something which is desirous um, sometimes we have things we don't need just simply because we desire them and think about sugars uh, think about cakes think about uh, meats that we generally have even if you don't need a meat we will have it regardless and then we also exercise self control and this is very important we exercise self control uh for something which is an absolute necessity within our lives uh you've been avoiding water at all costs you've been avoiding drinking water even if the the temperature is like today uh touching 27 28 degrees and it's incredibly hot and you've been walking around during the day you've still managed to avoid drinking water and that's an absolute i mean this is one of the things that non muslims always say to us what you don't even drink water during the day no we don't drink water during the day so even a basic necessity in life or a basic necessity for your survival you're actually practicing self control over that and you're proving to yourself that if needs be i can even avoid that i don't need to have water even though it, it is a, a basic need from uh, for me within my life uh, and then equally the other part of the self control is not just that you avoid things that you do something that you don't uh, ordinarily want to do uh, if you think about yourselves in your life we have a tendency of breaking into uh, physical lethargy very, very lethargic very lethargic when it comes to uh, actions and behavior and this is uh, seen perhaps not more so than in our spiritual laziness uh, reading salah becomes a problem um, getting up at night to offer the tahajjud becomes problematic uh, waking up for fajr becomes problematic Uh, and so we this lethargic nature of ours it's also something that we need to practice self control over so in the month of ramadan during the day you've been fasting you break your fast you don't overeat because you've got to get up again and you've got to get up and you've got to establish the salah and so allah almighty asks us to break both the desires of things that we need and asks us to become active when the nafs says just have a rest and and th- this really is something that you need to carry uh, through carry on throughout your life continue with throughout your life because if you can actually maintain that if you can maintain that you become a better person as a result of it uh, your fasting does you no know, damage it only makes you better it clears you up as an individual uh, uh, your getting up and your worshiping allah almighty doesn't do you any damage it makes you more active suddenly and if you've been praying honestly think about this if you've been praying the best part of 40 rak'ahs on a night to night basis then you have absolutely no excuse when this finish when ramadan finishes to miss 17 rak'ahs of your isha salah 17 is nothing in comparison to the 40 that you've been doing and the 40 that you've been doing may well have been taking you well over um an hour an hour and a half and now suddenly you're only going to go back and just offer 17 rak'ahs carry this spiritual strength through this is what you what you're supposed to be doing and perhaps there is no better night in the year where uh, spirituality uh, meets the mundane where spirituality meets the physical and and this is on the, the night that you have ahead of you tonight laylatul qadr you know the scholars have called laylatul qadr uh, various things uh, they uh, some scholars have called laylatul qadr the night of power uh, because the word qadr does mean power uh, the the word laylatul qadr is also the light the night of destiny uh, because this is where things are uh, uh, are recorded or uh, things uh, the angels are informed and knowledge from the lohi mahfuz is given to the angels for the upcoming year so the night of destiny and laylatul qadr the night of value uh, allah almighty says in the verses of the quran wa ma qadarullah haqqa qadrihi they don't value allah almighty the way that he ought to be valued so it's the night of value why because it's the night that is worth so much but the word qadr importantly is to know 
And this is something that, which is extremely important to us. The night of Qadr is, it's the night where everything is in almost perfect balance. It, they, you know, and, and this is extremely important. This is the night when the angels will descend from the heavens down to the earth, will, def will descend uh, down to earth where the, the worldly life will meet with that uh, spiritual existence. And, and it's, it's really, it, it's wonderful where we can look up to the, the spiritual existence outside of ourselves and the angels will look down upon us and they will see the, the worldly life. And, and this is when Allah Almighty will say to his angels, did I not tell you that my people will turn to me in worship? And uh, th this is the night where we will turn to Allah Almighty and we will say that, Ya Allah, uh, we, we are begging you of your forgiveness. Ya Allah, we acknowledge that we are, uh, we, uh, we are people who have wronged, we have sinned. You know, and, and this is very, very important, that night of being in, in perfect balance. And, you know, this word Qadr is used in exactly that, that same way. Uh, Allah Almighty says, And and the moon, we have appointed it, we've fixed. We have fixed certain stages for it. So it's it's actually fixing a certain moment in time. And, and of course, uh, we, we get this beautiful night because some of the companions who were extremely worried, uh, they spoke to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they said, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't have lifespans like those who preceded us. We don't have 900 years. We don't have 600 years of life. We've only got 60 years of life, 50 years of life, 80 years of life. We can never achieve the same level of worship. And then the... And this verse is then revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to reassure the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam and to, to grant you and I comfort, to grant comfort to the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that this one single night has been valued. It's got a determined value. It's, it's a qadr. It's a night of prefixed and determined value. And that value is what? It's the value of 1,000 months of worship 83 years and four months of worship and that's it any amal that you do tonight any amal that you do for the 10 minutes of quran recitation that you offer it is 83 years of perpetual 83 years and four months of perpetual recitation of the quran that's being written for you for the two nafil that you read tonight it is 83 years of perpetual worship of two nafal being read over and over and over again, being recorded for you tonight. For the du'as that you make, that you sit down and you shed a tear tonight for the sake of Allah Almighty. And you say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, I'm, I acknowledge that I am wrong. Ya Allah, I, I know that what I have done in my life is wrong, but I am asking you to forgive me because I don't know anybody who is forgiving except Ya Allah, I know that you will forgive, you will forgive everything and and, and I, I know that because we've heard this from the uh, from the, the, the hadith of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who, who in, in a narration of Bukhari, the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said whoever offers Salah with Iman uh, and say Iman and Wahtisab and with Iman and with sincerity on this night he will be forgiven all of his previous sins. Ya Allah, we heard this from your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we're begging you, Ya Allah, that you will forgive us. And, and why would your Lord not forgive you on, on such a beautiful night? Don't let this night come and go. Don't let this just be something. Don't let this be another night where you've just turned on the television. Forget the television. Forget uh, social media. Forget everything and just make it a, a night to... Remember Allah Almighty, and when I say forget social media, I'm, I'm not saying um, if there is a good talk even after the taraweeh that you can listen to uh, that will inspire you to get up and do some worship, then listen to that. You know that that's good. I'm talking about generic social media. Um, you, you don't need to be clicking through all of your uh, Facebook and your, your WhatsApp messages and so on and so forth. Now. Uh, there, there is something important though that I, I want to share with you. 
even on such an incredible, such a beautiful night, there are still four categories and four types of people that won't achieve forgiveness. And this is something for you to think about. Is baat pe zor zorur gor kare ke char aise aadmi hai jin ki maghfirat is raat ko bhi nahi ho sakti. There are four types of people who even on this night will not be forgiven. Who are they? Number one, the alcoholic. Wo sharabi jisne sharab pine se tuba nahi ki, the alcoholic who doesn't repent from his sins, hasn't repented already and hasn't decided that he's going to stay away from it. But for him, there is no forgiveness even on this night. Number two, that person who is disobedient to his own parents, to his or her own parents. If you haven't sought forgiveness, sought, seek forgiveness from your parents tonight. Ask them to forgive you because you can, you can achieve all manner of forgiveness. But if your parents aren't happy with you, if your parents are making a bad dua for you, there is no forgiveness from Allah Almighty. Your parents are your Jannat, your parents are your Jahannam. If you're not going to turn to them, if you're not going to ask them for forgiveness, there is nothing for you from Allah Almighty. Not even on this night when everybody is going to be forgiven. So this is extremely important. Go back to your parents, kiss their hands, ask them for forgiveness, seek their du du'as. Whatever has happened be between you, bury it, leave it, and ask them for forgiveness. Number three, go in son, jo apne uh, behen bayu se, rishtadaru se, kata rahmi, kata rahmi kar deta hai, the person who breaks ties with his own family. With, the, with their own brothers and sisters, with their own uh, parents, with their own immediate and extended families, anybody who breaks ties with their families, there is no forgiveness for you. Um, so you, Allah Almighty is forgiving everybody, but don't make yourself a part of those people who won't be forgiven. They won't be forgiven on, on the case of what? On the case of, well, I can't talk to Fulan, and I can't talk to Fulan, uh, I, I can't build relationships with Fulan. Forget it. Just forget it. Just forgive whoever it is. Get over yourselves and ask Allah Almighty to, for his forgiveness. You, you're heading towards Akhirat. Don't go towards your Akhirat whilst, you, whilst you've broken ties with everybody around you. There is no life when you've broken ties. You are followers of the Prophet wasallam, who brought this religion to you. And he said, I am bringing to you a religion is all about justice and equality. I am bringing to you a religion that takes care of the poor. I'm bringing to, to you a religion that uh, takes care of the orphans. I am bringing to you a religion that enjoys kinship, enjoins uh, kinship. So if you've got difficulties with your brothers and sisters, with your relatives, just, just get over your own sense of pride. Get over uh, your, the sense of yourself and get, and, and this is self-control. And this, you've been practicing for this whole month. You've not been drinking water and you're able to control yourself. It's time that you get control over your own nafs and your own pride and get control over your own egos and actually say, I don't care what happens. I don't care if anybody's going to think less of you. Nobody will think less of you. Ask people to forgive you. Ask them to forgive you and, uh, and join relationships. Build, rekindle that relationship. Let this night be that beautiful night where you rekindle that relationship with the, the people who are around you. And the fourth person, the fourth person is, is he who that, that person who holds grudges and, and bears malice, continues to bear malice in his heart uh, against others. Allah Almighty will forgive everybody. But he refuses to forgive the person who bears malice and bears a grudge towards another. Now, again, you know, whilst you've, you've gone through hunger during the day, whilst you've gone through the challenge of Ramadan, whilst you've gone without water through the month of Ramadan, don't spoil your fasting by continuing to hold malice and grudge against others. Forget it. Leave the malice, leave the, the books that you have against others and actually bring them. You ring people and ask them to forgive you. If you've held malice in your heart against others, ask them to forgive you. You forgive others. You know, when you forgive others, uh, you'll be doing yourselves a favor. 
uh, I can I can tell you, people are, are right now people are dying as a result of de depression. They, people are stuck within their own homes and they don't know what to do with themselves. And this depression only is made worse by books which you hold in your heart. The the malice which you hold in your heart it's driving you to a sense of depression, uh, and you just won't know what to do with yourself. Relieve yourself of that that depression. Relieve yourself of that challenge. Relieve yourself of of uh, the circumstances where you don't know what to do with yourself and actually enjoy a moment of absolute bliss and sheer happiness and and just release that from your heart and you know if you can release that if you can release that and there's there's numerous ahadith that tell you about you know the the benefits and the virtue you know why is somebody jannati is that sahabi who is jannati why what, what was so great about the sahabi who's jannati and there's there's nothing great about him except that every single night before he went to sleep he would forgive. He he said, I hold nothing in my heart against anybody and I pray for everybody. And you know, if if you could become that soul who will forgive everybody else tonight, how would Allah Almighty turn you away? Brothers and sisters, it's simply not possible. If you, for the sake of your Lord, are forgiving others, why would your Lord not forgive you? And you know, the moment you say, I, I forgive and I forget and I'm getting over my, my own malice, uh, then for absolutely sure, Allah Almighty will say, just as you have forgiven everybody else, I will forgive you. Make it a moment and a night of forgiveness tonight. Take out that um, whatever malice you have within your heart. There is nothing that anybody could have done to you that you can't forgive. Forgive them. Make peace with yourself. You will actually feel much. You'll feel the joy uh, much more tonight. So, what is it that we're going to do tonight? Don't overindulge in iftar. Um, it's not um, just fasting during the day. Remember, continue that exercise of self-control. Um, so, don't overindulge. Have a nice, light, uh, a nice and light meal. Have an enjoyable light meal. Make sure that it's enough for you to be able to get up. You need to be able to stand up and worship your Lord. Straight after Maghrib Salah, if you can, recite Surah Al-Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Uh, recite that Surah, if possible, at least seven times. Uh, if if it's possible, perform ghusl. You can perform ghusl either after Maghrib. You can perform ghusl. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing to do. We're all stuck within our home. I'm, I'm urging every single one of you tonight. If you, I'm, I'm sure that everybody's been praying Bajamat, but tonight Bajamat, men and women form rows, and with all your hearts, stand in Jamaat and raise your hands and glorify Allah Almighty. Say Allahu Akbar and read Salah Bajamat tonight. After your Taraweeh, stand up and offer Nawafil. Uh, and nafal prayers as much as possible. If you can only offer two raka'ahs, please don't let this night go. Offer two raka'ahs. If you can offer four, then offer four raka'ahs. Just do whatever you can. Offer some salah. Don't let this opportunity just pass you by. Uh, on the Day of Judgment, perhaps we'll, uh, we'll regret and rue the moments that we had, that we, uh, uh, we passed up uh, and we did nothing with. If you have prayers to make up, um, make up one of those prayers tonight. You know, it's a it's a virtual um, it, it, it's a it's a night of uh, a thousand months. Um, it, it's not you can't count it as uh, for qada. It certainly wouldn't work as one qada. Isn't going to make up a thousand qadas, but you'll get that much reward. Just uh, reciting the Quran. Um, recite the Quran as much as possible. Open up the Quran tonight. Um, if if you can, stay up for an hour, stay up for two, uh, read through the Quran and don't just recite the Arabic of it, read the English of it. Ponder the meanings of it. What is your Lord inviting you to? What is it that he's reminding you in terms of Akhir? Go through all of that really, really carefully. Think about that. Even if you're going to read just one ayat tonight, read one ayat tonight and understand it. Understand it and, and decide and to do amal on it. This is something that you must do. Uh, and make du'as. You know, tonight is a night of du'as. Make du'as for everybody. Ask Allah Almighty to 
lift this waba, ask Allah Almighty to lift this, lift this virus from us. Uh, ask Allah Almighty to forgive all of those people who have passed away through coronavirus. Those, uh, those arwah that you know and those arwah that you don't. And you know that there is nothing more beautiful, nothing more beautiful than you making du'as for others. Because when you make du'as for others, Allah Almighty will bestow the same to you. Uh, don't be selfish. Don't just be making du'as for yourself. Um, uh, make make du'as for yourself, of course. Make du'as for forgiveness for yourself. Make du'as for forgiveness of your parents, of your grandparents, your great-grandparents who have left this world. You know, use this. And, and how should you be making this du'a? Glorify Allah Almighty. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Uh, send salawat on the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam. Wa salatu wassalamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya wal-Mursali. Send salawat on his family, wa ala alihi, upon his companions, wa sahbihi ajma'een, upon all of them. And then beseech Allah Almighty. Ask Allah Almighty and, and acknowledge the, your faults, acknowledge your mistakes and your shortcomings. And ask Allah Almighty to forgive you of your sins. But you know, in part of that, make a firm resolution tonight that you're not going to return to the sins that you have already committed. And make a firm resolution and then do something. Take... If your if your phone is your sin, then remove uh, the the applications that are, take you towards that sin. If your television is that sin, then block that television and block the channels that take you towards that. Sin. Make a firm resolution of what you're going to do. Just you have to know that. Uh, and and of course, uh, you, one of the best du'as that you could be making on on this night. Uh, say the Aisha radiallahu ta'ala an, anha ummul mu'mineen uh, our mother once asked the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said that if I were to encounter the Laylatul Qadr if I was to uh, encounter the, the night of Al-Qadr what then would you uh, recommend that I should uh, recite and then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said if you were to encounter this night then make this dua Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni Ya Allah, you are the most forgiving. Afwa, ya Allah, you love forgiveness. Fa'fu anni, then Ya Allah, forgive me of my sin. Don't, don't let this opportunity pass you by. It's an incredible night. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's one of the most beautiful uh, nights that you encounter in your life. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Right now, the, the world is going to be so tight because the angels have descended into it. Let's make all of those angels witness our du'as. Let's let those angels witness our tears. Let's let those angels witness our sajda rezi when we fall in frustration before our Lord and cry to you. Cry to him tonight. And if you can't, then pretend to cry. And ask Allah Almighty to forgive you. And, and get up and, and, and fall in ruku, fall into sujood. Let all of the angels witness this. So that our Lord can say to the angels, you asked me one day why I was creating. This is why I was creating. This is why I was creating. And then we can be absolutely certain that Allah Almighty will forgive us of, of our sins. We believe that Allah Almighty is as we imagine. And we perceive Allah Almighty to be. And I, I know that our Lord, Allah Almighty, will forgive us tonight. So have that within your heart. Don't let this uh, night just pass you by. Do something incredible tonight. Bring somebody, ask them for forgiveness. Remove the malice uh, and both within your heart. Forgive everybody around you. And, and make du'as. And, and when you make those du'as, remember to make du'as for your parents, for your teachers, uh, for your loved ones, for everybody around you. May Allah Ta'ala grant us all the tawfiq to make the best of tonight. Make a du'a for us as well. Um, that Allah Ta'ala grants us istiqamah. You've just mentioned um,
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, I think uh, Maulana is uh, having some technical problems, inshallah. So, <laughs> So you'll have to do with me until he uh, until he returns, inshallah. Uh, this is a really beautiful uh, reminder, poignant for for the evening that we're about to go into because um, with obviously Laylatul Qadr and the, the massage is not there and and the and the ability to sit with our Imam Sabs and our Maulanas and our teachers and uh, so yeah. we've now had to do this in a virtual world. So families are going to be gathered tonight and and you've given good advice on obviously praying obviously having a light of thought. Uh, so hopefully the, the the families have heard that message, <laughs> so, but, they, but they can have a heavy sahri. That's true. Yes, <laughs> they, they can they can enjoy their sahri. They can, they can enjoy, enjoy the sahri. sahri. So they can uh, move the food forward, inshallah. Um, but in terms of the worship, obviously people were you know in the masjid they may have played salat of tasbih, they would have done Quran khatams, etc. So what would your advice be in terms of creating these kind of similar moments? Uh, you, you know, first of all, first and foremost, I, I'm, I'm, my, my greatest recommendation is start with Salatul Isha with Jamal. There, there's no better way than to start with Fat on, on, on a night like this. So obviously, um, I'm, I'm hoping that most people um, will, will be able to appoint an Imam amongst them. Whoever in their family has the best recitation, appoint them as your Imam. And um, they they should lead. And if uh, if you've got the capacity for it, then uh, even Salatul Taraweeh you should do Bajamat. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're very fortunate here that you know on a every single night so far we've we've had Taraweeh within within the home, and so this this must continue tonight. Um, in exactly the same way, uh, the, um, if, if it's possible for you uh, to offer Salat al-Tasbih, offer Salat al-Tasbih. It, it really is a beautiful night. And, and, and Salat al-Tasbih is so incredible, so powerful, that the Prophet ﷺ said, do this once a day. Uh, if not, then do it once a week. And if not, then do it once a month. And if not, then do it once a year. And if not, then at least do it once in a in your lifetime. It's an incredible night tonight. It's so, so powerful. Um, and, you know, to have Salat al-Tasbih being recited as well, um, it, it would be, uh, it, 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 would, it, it would take you through the night. You know, mix up you what you're doing. You can't just sit there just reciting the Quran for the whole night because you'll start falling asleep. Uh, you can't just be... Uh, offering uh, Salat al-Tasbih all night because you'd become far too fatigued and tired and you wouldn't be focusing anymore. Mix it up. Uh, mix it up and you, you can have breaks in between and um, but you know make a, a, a firm resolution to to make good of tonight. Is, is there a limit on the number of nawafil that you can read in the evening after, after, the, after the Tarawi prayer itself? There, there's no uh, there, there is uh, there is no limit uh, to uh, how much you can actually pray. So you can pray as many nawafil as you possibly can, but be reasonable. Uh, don't, what isn't uh, favored in, in shariat is a person suddenly saying, I want to read a thousand nawafil tonight or a hundred nawafil tonight. What's preferred is that you uh, start this journey of your nawafil um, with something, even if it's something small, but it is persistent. You know, read if if only six rakats tonight, eight rakats tonight, and then say every single night I will read two extra nafal. Maybe that that's better for you. Um, but it just I think it just be reasonable and and pray as, as much as as you can really. And you and you talked about um, about mending of hearts and and and, and building relationships with that may have uh, soured. Uh, with the the likelihood of uh, Eid in isolation, um, how would you recommend people? Because uh, obviously, normally Eid in Namaz is probably the morning where even the people with the hardest hearts and difficult relations through the year they manage to, mashallah, give that big hug. Uh, how would you, uh, in, in this current climate, advise uh, <laughs> melting of hearts? You know, the, the the melting of the of the hearts. Or honestly. Uh, the melting of hearts is it could be done in 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 many ways. Um, the, the, the Prophet ﷺ said, um, uh, 
I can't remember the exact words of the hadith, um, and I don't want to get the order wrong. Uh, but um, if you, uh, the, the, I think the words of the hadith are that give gifts to one another, it will increase you in your love towards one another. So if you can't uh, get to somebody on Eid, uh, then send them a, a, a gift. You know, it, it, the, the gift doesn't have to be something substantial, but it just has to be something meaningful. Um, you know, give, give, uh, and and even the the gift of a call. You know, honestly, uh, I've 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 had calls um, this this month from people who I haven't sp spoken to for so long, and you know, more than anything else, it was just so so beautiful to hear their voices. You know, even before they said anything. You know, even before they said the words to me. Oh, we just wanted to to see how you are. There's there's no you know we've got no other reason to call you or not. Um, we just want to see how you are. But, you know, the moment I heard their voice, you know, straight away, you know, in my heart, I, I made a dua for them. You know, Ya Allah, grant these people, grant these people goodness. For, for these people, they remember, they remember others just purely, just for your sake, just to build a good relationship. So, you know, do that tonight. You know, call, call people. You don't have to, you know, we, we always call people and say, oh, we're calling you. Um, uh, we're calling you for the, you know, to for, because it's a beautiful night and we want your forgiveness. You call somebody, they're going to forgive you anyway, even if you don't say it out. In so you know that this is this is something which you could. Exactly. We got a question from one of our viewers. Um, you mentioned qada salah and nafl prayers. Which is uh, superior, praying plenty of nafl and nafl prayer or doing qada? I, I I would I would get take this opportunity to do qada salahs. Um, yeah, I, I I would prioritize that over the the nawafil if I've got many qadasalas ahead of me. Um, it, it's um, that it's always better. It's always more valuable that you make up for the qadasalas, and it'll take nothing away from the nawafil that you would have been praying. Or, or offer some nawafil as well, of course. Offer some some nawafil because qadasalas is what Allah Almighty had always obliged on us. And that which we failed Allah Almighty in. Um, he asked us uh, to fulfill our obligations. We failed in that obligation. So we offer the qada instead. And we say, Ya Allah, we are still offering the four rakats of Zohar, which I didn't manage to pray within the, the correct time. So Ya Allah, forgive us now and accept these four rakats. This is almost like a, a, a fulfillment of, a, of, a, of an obligation which was due from us anyway. So I would prioritize qada salahs, but uh, do offer um, a couple of uh, sets of nafal as well in between, because that's going the extra mile. That's you saying to Allah Almighty that after my obligations are fulfilled to you, I still want to worship you. I still want to perform my ruku in front of you. And, and you know, whatever amount, wa'bud rabbaka hatta ya'tika al yakin. You know, the, you worship your Lord. Until yakin comes to you, uh, until you become absolute, you you want to achieve certitude, and certitude is going to happen when you get up and you become resolute in your action. Inshallah, uh, we got one more question. Inshallah, I think uh, Maulana Saman, Mashallah, there's been so much excitement about you uh, visiting us because I think last time I met you was at the Masjid, Jibril yes, Masjid, sir. and you you did an event for us actually in Ramadan, Mashallah. Uh, yes, so a lot of excitement, uh, but I think uh, Mullah Zaman uh, is uh, is freezing. So we've got one more question. Uh, do you have any, as as being a Hafid al Kitabillah, do you have any hifs tips? Because uh, this has been a regular question that we've been having. So do you have any personal hifs tips? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You know, with the hifs, um, uh, uh, there's one thing I'm I'm going to tell you straight away from from hadith. The, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the Quran is like a stray camel. For as long as you hold on to it, it is yours. The moment you let go of it, it is gone. It was never yours. So um, with with hifs, what tips do we have for hifs? Number one, the best time of memorizing something is first thing in the morning. Um, we, uh, as uh, as students, um, we used to get up at 5.30 on every single day, regardless of what time Fajr was going to be. Even if Fajr was at 7 o'clock, even if Fajr was at 7.30, we were still up at 5.30 and we were told to go to mosque. 
and we used to uh, learn uh, our sabbat uh, in the morning for perhaps 40 minutes or 50 minutes every single day. There is no better time in the day for you to commit something new to memory. Then if you want to commit something to uh, from uh, what, what that does is you will end up knowing that lesson for that one day, but only for that one day. And I'm going to uh, insist that if you've learned something one morning, you and uh, you've learned one rakul one morning, and you haven't looked at it again for the rest of the day, you will only know it that day. You won't know it the following day. It'll become very hazy. So what you do again is you repeat that uh, that lesson again the following day and you repeat it again the following day and this is a technique which we use it's called sabki where you add the last ruku to the two rukus that you had done before the four rukus you had done before and you keep going over them and what this does is it helps you retain the quran in mid-term memory and then if you want to commit this to long-term memory then at the end of every month, you've got to try to recall and go over everything that you had done that entire month. It's the same as when you're preparing for an exam. You go over everything that you had prepared that for the entire month. And if you keep doing that month after month, uh, and you keep coming back to something that you learned three months ago, four months ago, and you do this four or five times over, you will commit the Quran to long-term memory. And one, one final thing, and, and this is a really, really big hips tip for anybody who's doing hips right now. Whatever hips you have done, do jamaat with the recitation of that. Uh, this will improve you in two things. And I've seen this in my own kids now, my own children. Uh, they've only done little bits. So one's done two and a half, three spara. One's done only one spara. Uh, but I've made them... Uh, lead some of the Taraweeh prayers. Now, what this has benefited them in is, number one, they've realized that if they're learning things too fast, it simply doesn't work when you lead Jamaat. You've got to slow down. Two, they've realized the importance of Maharaj. Uh, and, and number three, what this does is anything that they have uh, led in the, in the Taraweeh they always come back and say to me, oh, yeah, I, I know that one because that's the one that I led. You know, once you, you know, the pressure of having to lead somebody uh, with a recitation makes that recit it makes you perfect that recitation. And, and it means that you're taking it really seriously and it will enter into your heart. And, uh, you know, then, and then, then on top of that, if you can learn the Arabic language, if you can understand um, uh, what you're, you're reading, um, I promise you that that helps so much. You know, for me, it's not the pleasure of just reading the Quran, but actually the the, the pleasure of just understanding the, the verses that, that you're just reciting. Allah Ta'ala. I mean, Jazakallah khair, uh, Mashallah, beautiful evening. Uh, thank you for your company. Uh, if I can ask you, shall I just conclude with uh, dua? Uh, I don't think Mulana is going to come back, uh, and I'm a terrible <laughs> host. So, uh, inshallah, this is the first time I've hosted. So, uh, inshallah, if I can ask you to please uh, conclude with dua, inshallah. And then we'll, uh, you know, to all those who are watching, uh, please, uh, honestly, our, our speeches, they're not, um, it's not just about us delivering a lecture. It's, these are not lectures. All we're trying to do is, is we're begging with you and pleading with you uh, as you, as good people, good, faithful people of Allah Almighty tonight, stand up and make it count. And, and you know, get into that sajda rezi, get into performing the ruku, and let your Lord, Allah Ta'ala, proudly say to all of the angels that look, these are my people. If you wanted to know why I created, look at them tonight. On the 27th of Ramadan, look at them on Laylatul Qadr, how they stand up and worship. Amin Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa barik wa salli wa salli alayhi Allahumma rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakoonanna min al-khasiri Allahumma innaka afu un kareem un tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna ya ghafur Allahumma innaka afu un kareem un tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna ya ghafur 
اللهم انك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا غفور يا الله باك وي بيغ اوف يو يا الله وي بيغ اوف يو ذات يو ويل فورغيف اس اوف اس يا الله وي بيغ اوف يو ذات يو ويل اكسبت فروم اس اور فاست يا الله وي بيغ اوف يو ذات يو ويل اكسبت فروم اس اور صدقات يا الله وي بيغ اوف يو ذات يو ويل اكسبت فروم اس اور ورشيب يا الله غرانت اس ذا هيفس اوف ذا قران يا الله غرانت اس انديستاندينغ اوف ذا قران يا الله اون ذس بيوتيفول نايت in the month that the quran was revealed ya allah make us those who can understand the verses of the quran ya allah let this illness become a means of us drawing closer to you ya allah we beg of you that you will remove this illness from us ya allah if these illnesses if these viruses are prescribed for us ya allah grant us the strength to be able to cope with the illnesses ya allah grant us make us those people who are able to forgive their brothers and sisters Amen. Ya Allah, make us those people who are able to mend relationship with their their parents and their cousins. Ya Allah, make us those people who enjoin kinship and relationships. Ya Allah, don't protect us from becoming those who sever ties with those who are immediately around us. Ya Allah, we beg of you that on this beautiful night that you will forgive the sins of our parents that have passed away. Ya Allah, our parents that are are alive. Ya Allah, grant them long lives over. Ya Allah, those that have passed away. Ya Allah, your people. Ya Allah, your subjects. Ya Allah, your worshippers. Ya Allah, forgive them of their sins. Open up to them the doors of Jannah. Ya Allah, grant them the cool breezes and the perfumes of Jannah. Ya Allah, we beg of you that you will grant them success and salvation within their grave. Ya Allah, let them know. Ya Allah, let them know that their children. Ya Allah, that their grandchildren. Ya Allah that their relatives and their cousins have their hands raised in dua for them ya Allah grant them happiness with their graves ya Allah save them from humiliation and disgrace on the day of judgment ya Allah make us all, um, amongst those who are raised in the company of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the day of judgment ya Allah grant us um, grant us drink at the hold at the hands of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya Allah grant us success in akhirah Ya Allah, grant us virtue and goodness in this dunya. Grant us uh, success and honor on the day of judgment. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna salawatina. Ya Allah, all those people who are poor. Ya Allah, all those people that are uh, in, suffering from the virus, all those that are suffering from general illnesses. Ya Allah, your people. Ya Allah, your subject. Ya Allah, your worshippers. Ya Allah, we beg of you. You are shafi. Ya Allah, you are the curer. Ya Allah, cure them. Uh, cure them from their illnesses ya allah bestow upon them cures swiftly ya allah protect them ya allah protect them and make them strong ya allah if they are in their illnesses forgive them of their sins for all the moments that they that they suffer in their illnesses allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna salawatina wallahumma rabbana taqabbal minna sadaqatina allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna du'aana innaka antas samiul alim wa tub alayna innaka antat tawwabur rahim صلى الله تعالى على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا رب يا رحمن الرحيم جزاك الله خير فضلك الله بلس يو ريز يو اند بارك يو امين اولويز جزاك الله خير السلام عليكم عليكم السلام Okay so um with uh Maulana Sab not here inshallah I'm going to now pass you on to uh Hisham Inshallah ta'ala, we're going to do a, a prayer for, uh, as being leading into a special night, inshallah, we have uh, Hatam al-Quran Sharif, inshallah ta'ala, this evening at 11.30, so Abad al-Trawi prayer uh, on this stream, Sheikh Sulaiman Van Al will be joining us uh, and we'll be concluding the community Quran that we recited together online, that he led and that we all uh, recited behind him. So the Hatam al-Quran for that will be tonight, inshallah ta'ala, 11.30. So again, as Afasab said, pray your Trawi prayer, maybe, and then gather with us for a short while. And we'll do conclude the khatam together, inshallah. Uh, and then maybe we'll do some du'as at the end as well. And then we'll obviously leave time for private worship as well, inshallah ta'ala. So jazakallah khair, Allah bless you all. Uh, I'm going to pass over to Hisham, inshallah ta'ala.
Okay. I just realized I was on mute and I wasn't actually on the stream, so we'll start again, inshallah. Um, so, as I said, it's a prayer for the Muslim world from um, by Imam Yusuf bin Ismail al Nabahani, who was born in Palestine. Al Fatiha. Audu Bilam Shitar Rajim Bismillah Rahim Alhamdulillah, Hirobil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, Imaniki, Omidini, Iyak and Abudua, Iyak and Estain, Indian of Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Ladina and Amt Alehim, Ghair al Mordubi Alehim, Waladalim. I mean. اللهم اغفر لي أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم عفو عن أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم تجاوز عن أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم سامح أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أصلح أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم افتح لأمة أم لأمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم عز أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اللهم انصر أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم مكن لأمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أيد أمة أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارحم أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم وفق أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احفظ أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اللهم احرس أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اجبر أمة أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم استر أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم فرج عن أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارضى عن أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أو الله aid the one who who aids them and show enmity to the one who shows enmity to them enable enable it to attain a manifest conquest and noble victory in every time and place to the utmost of that which it desires O oh Allah, support by means of it your upright, sacred way and clear religion. Perpetuate its honor and glory till the day of judgment. O oh Allah, oh Ya Rabbil Alameen, O oh Lord, accept this from us, for you are the all-hearing and, and all-knowledgeable. And accept our repentance, for you are the one who accepts repentance and, and are the most kind. Salutations and blessings be upon our Master Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all of the prophets and messengers, all of their families and companions. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني 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 اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا 
ilaha illallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi